Along with many parents and teachers, we had a lot of questions about how KCS reopened. We requested exchanges going back to July 1st. Emails from the very beginning show board members approving the format of the plan, but not everyone. In a July 12th email, one member says they were very concerned about cleaning, masks, and how exactly social distancing would work in elementary schools. Still, they supported those in the planning process. Two days later, more more updates in the plan and more feedback. Masks require them, read one email from a board member. On July 17th, an email from a teacher prompts one BOE member to email the superintendent, this time asking why teachers would be teaching in the building on red days. Could they explain why health metrics were not included? On July 20th, one member says, we have got to get more information to the public. I have heard this over and over again. That same day, another email goes to the superintendent. Monitoring student attendance makes no sense, the email read. It goes on to say, we are supposed to be there for students, not business. If any part of our plan sacrifices for the good of business, we are failing. And in parentheses, it said this plan does. This dialogue continues to play out as the days inch closer to the start of school. Some board members optimistic about the updates, others still questioning how the plan would unfold and whether or not it was safe. In Knoxville, Gabrielle Hayes reporting.